Hey, Rachel, Chris, nice to see you. Hi, Chris. How nice to you? see you, too. Good. Good. I promise I have nothing incriminating on any laptops anywhere. <laughs> Why don't you have a seat right over there? Oh, okay. <laughs> Always like a Guinness. All right, uh, we'll have uh, two Guinnesses, please. This is the kind of interview I like, you know. And so nobody recognizes you? Well, it's funny, you know, in China, nobody recognized me. <clears throat> in Cambodia at the time, nobody recognized me. They should me. have you on like giant posters in Cambodia. <laughs> Beware. <just>. Yes. <laughs> Why do you think people are so interested in these kinds of investigations? Well, I, I think what we do is we take people into a world that they've never seen before. We show people things that they wouldn't normally see. I mean, when we first pitched the whole idea of To Catch a Predator, we knew that uh, there were anecdotal cases where kids met adults online, you know, were assaulted, in some cases killed, horrible stories. But we had no idea how many people were out there until we actually did this. And, and you know, you can pitch a story by saying, look, we'll do some interviews with some victims' families, and we'll have shots of hands tucked on keyboards, or you can be proactive and go in and really see what's going on. And that's what we were able to do with To Catch a Predator. Fortunately, only twice has the Predator come in naked. You know? I saw at least one of those. And I did at, my research. At no time in any journalism class at Michigan State University did anybody prepare me to interview you know, a naked man who walked into an investigation. I know it happens to sports reporters and mm -hmm. towels fall on the floor in locker rooms and everything, but you know, it was, it was quite something. Fortunately, the producers had put you know, a towel up on top of the refrigerator so I could walk out and hand it to him ah, and he clever. Could wrap himself up. All right, yeah. we should think of that for this show. <laughs> One of the last investigations we did, um, we were tying up the uh, loose ends on renting the house, this beautiful home on the beach in, in the Jersey Shore. <clears throat> and then my producer said to uh, the owner of the house, said, do you know anybody locally who is 19 or 20 years old but looks much younger, perhaps a theater major or something like that? He said, oh yeah, my daughter. And, it was, wow. so, and, and she was great. She was probably the very best on-site decoy that we ever had. And what she was able to do is actually start a conversation with these guys. So instead of seeing the grooming in the chat log, we saw this grooming process take place in real time. And it was, it was very eye-opening. Wow. Like, just a minute. Pour yourself some lemonade. <laughs> right. I'm also available. I'm just kidding. Um, you so wait, know. what are these... Um, are these acting credits? Can they, do these yeah. go towards like a SAG card? Like, how does this so work? I think, I think some of the young people have done that. I mean, used it on their, their reel to get a job. And, and, Interesting. Uh, yeah. yeah. Any plans for like, Predator, exclamation point, the musical? <laughs> no. I'm just throwing that out there. You know, it's, well, you've got such a, such a branded franchise, <laughs> there's always room for expanding. <laughs> Not the musical.